MRI is one of the greatest inventions that brings up remarkable innovations in science and medicine. It employs a strong magnetic field to resonate a hydrogen atom of nucleus in subjects and produces appreciable signals. The MR signals occurring during this process are encoded in the frequency domain and reconstructed to produce images. By utilizing the image contrast resulting from tissue relaxation, it enables a very precise observation of major body parts including internal organs, cartilage, brain, etc. Unlike X-rays or computed tomography, MRI has no harmful radiation. However, there is a shortcoming that cannot be ignored in MRI though. It takes substantially long to finish each MRI inspection to the extent that patients feel scared in it. Patients cannot budge an inch inside a narrow cylindrical space for 30 minutes or longer and have to endure a jackhammer-like noise. Since patients are not allowed to move during inspection, it is hard to apply MRI to emergency patients. Professor Park's team ushered in a new era of ultra-high-speed MRI with a new technology. The goal of this work is to make MRI faster, more comfortable, more precise, and clearer. By innovating simultaneous multi-slice imaging, compressed sensing, and parallel imaging technologies, it boosted the inspection speed by up to 50-fold and realized even clearer images. A 3D MRI image is generated by combining multiple 2D flat pictures. Conventional multi-slice imaging technology used for this process basically recovers images in each frequency band individually. This technique was further enhanced in simultaneous multi-slice imaging technology such that it collects multiple spatial frequency bands simultaneously before separating and recovering images. The more spatial bands you acquire simultaneously, the faster inspection you will realize. As existing technologies suffer from artifacts and amplified noise, the number of spatial bands they can collect at the same time was very limited with a low degree of precision. The research team invented an imaging algorithm based on Henkel subspace learning to develop a new resolution technology. By utilizing the null space of K-space containing multi-slice information, the technology perfectly separates overlapped slices and gets individual band K-space. This technology extremely inhibits interference noise and expands the maximum number of separable bands to 5-8, making it realize eight times faster inspection speed. The signals collected by the MRI receiver are very weak and the amount of information is limited. In spite of such limitations, the system needs to come up with an identifiable image anyway and secure fast imaging speed as the target is movable. In general, missing signals in MRI are interpolated using correlations among collected data to get the final image. While compressed sensing and parallel imaging technologies are used for such jobs, calibration and reconstruction in existing technologies are not efficient as MR data are processed consecutively and indecently. Moreover, as calibration is done with the average of all frame data to make a video, getting a precise image is not easy. Thus, the research team developed a frame-by-frame -frame interpolation technology by exploiting the information available over all frames. By reflecting a series of motions of the target in calibration, it enables robust image reconstruction, even in the presence of respiration and subject motions. Unlike existing technologies, this one adopts a joint process method that alternates calibration and data reconstruction. As these two processes interact each other, it is possible to perform precise calibration even with a small amount of initial calibration data. 
The result is used as the baseline data for the next step to make it possible to restore an improved image. In conventional contrast enhanced dynamic angiography, the inspection takes long and a minor movement of the patient may interfere identification. Ultrafast contrast enhanced magnetic resonance angiography added a special algorithm to the key technology explained earlier and realized up to 50 times faster dynamic angiography, its quality of image is outstanding as well. After obtaining dynamic images in the area of interest from the encoding sector of the whole space-time, it removes the background tissues using the background image before injecting contrast agents. Then, it eliminates motion-induced artifacts using motion predictive modeling based on subspace projection. Based on spatio-temporal modeling of bloodstream, it selects and reinforces only dynamic bloodstream signals to secure a clear and easily identifiable image as fast as possible. Non-contrast enhanced angiography is used for patients in whom contrast agents cannot be injected. It relies on differences in blood vessel signals between systole and diastole. By subtracting systole and diastole images, it removes background tissues and leaves only blood vessels. But if a patient has cardiac arrhythmia, the conventional method will not work, generating unidentifiable images. Ultrafast unenhanced magnetic resonance angiography developed by the research team keeps recording and synchronizing cardiac activities during MR data collection. By retrospectively sorting data over all frames with a precise timing, even an image of blood vessels of patients in the presence of arrhythmia can be restructured. Despite being complicated, it completes inspection much faster. That is because the key technologies make it possible to raise the quality of image and recover all frames faster. With the innovative MR imaging software technology that improved conventional MRI functions, it is possible to develop a new MRI software or upgrade existing ones. Conventional MRI functions can be improved by directly utilizing this technology. This one can also be used as an original technology to develop new applications. This latest technology has been reported over as many as 10 journal and conference papers, gaining great attention from both academia and industries. A total of 10 domestic patents and 6 overseas patents has been applied for intellectual property rights. This technology will be further enhanced through continued follow-up researches.